Hey guys, a whack back to the video. Dad, today is a bit of a fun one. What are we doing? Where the hell be you? Where the hell be you? Where the hell be you? Well, we are having a look at our current playing squad, Dan. And we're doing an all things Midlands review. Bearing in mind, bearing in mind, listen, it's been a fun year, but it's based on our thoughts, nothing else other than mine and yours. And I'm ready to disagree with you because you know something, Dan. This game will evolve. Go on, guys. Make sure you put down. Go on, give, give, give us something to put down in the comments before we start off. Is that again? Sorry? Give everyone something to put down in the comments before we start off. Well, I, I just wanted people's opinion. because my Go on, guys. I, I want to see your, who was your boom time, your best player you've seen, and who has to go. And who? I can come in. Richie. Yeah, the mediocre season. Some of the games he played was all right. Yeah, some of the games here and there, he did the job. He Wrong. does the job right, but I don't think he's good enough for this league. I think that's fair enough. Yeah, he's a, yeah. We've, he's a lovely chap, right? He does turn it on, but he, he, he's just not good enough for this league. It's a shame, really. He that's does fair. try. I'll, I'll back him up. He does try. Moa, who was, I was really surprised by us getting rid of him, where would you put him down? Because he had a good good time at Borough. He, he could be a valuable ass next season. No, Dan, I'm going to be brutal and, and learn from previous lessons. He, listen, I didn't see him put a good shift in for the Albion, to be honest. No? So maybe, we don't, maybe the club and the players around him don't bring the best out of him. So, I, 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 I'm not good enough for me. It's fair enough. Alex Palmer, daddy, came in. And to be fair, he did the job, didn't he? And, he, and, he's, and he's really worthy, Dan, his performances, hasn't he? Yeah, it, it surprised me. He's been outstanding. I think that it's no it's no exaggeration to say our season spore out of control when he wasn't at the back and people, the defenders in front of him didn't have confidence. So I like him boom time for me, I think. Fair enough. Next one, Thomas Asante. Well, this man here, Dad, it, we, we've got to agree. I think realistically, is the best player of the club? No. Work ethic, the best. Barn uh, he is what what the best player sim for work ethic and Albion team, maybe in, in, in any team really. Yeah. But Dad, does that equate him to being boom time? What do you well, think? Well, listen, I, I, I'm sick of being nice to sitting on the fence. I'm putting him in boom time. Shall I tell you why? Go on. Because because he epitomises what everything it should be about a professional footballer. He runs, he chases. Yeah, he ain't gonna get millions and millions of goals. But you know what? The work ethic is there. And you cannot, money cannot buy that. And the you, fact he came in this season and he only won flowers a couple of hundred K. Yeah, fair uh, play to him. He put himself yeah. back. He's done a great job to get into the Albion Star 11, really. Next one, Dad. Caleb Taylor. Listen, I, I, I'll tell this one for you if you want. He was alone at Channel next season and he last season, and he's unbelievable, actually. Um, I know he got many man of match awards and he, I think he actually won. I think young player of the season there. He was that good. I've heard a lot of good things about him, in my opinion, Dad. He does the job and he's got to be in there next season, give him a yeah, chance. Yeah, you know, Dan, sorry to put, I wouldn't disagree with you there. Yeah, I, th I think that's a good call. I like that, yeah. I, it, it, it looks self assured to me for a young Steena. Because if you remember, um, I think it was he was playing the, um, the game against Wolves and he couldn't have great shit. Yeah, he stood out for me. Yeah, I do like good call, that is Dan. Good call. I've gone for you, Dad. Your pal. We had a great season at Cardiff. Big setters. I think he does the job, Dan, you know. You do. Watching, in, yeah, in a, but don't, 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 don't disagree with me. I think. No, no I'm, 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 I'm gonna no. let you speak first. The reason why I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna say he's done a job at Cardiff, which he did, 100, percent right. And while we need centre backs, yes, I completely agree. We do, but in my opinion, pass by Sal by day, because in my opinion, Dad, it's this the best time to cash in him. If Cardiff wants him, yeah. put a good amount of money, get him gone because for the Albion. I'm not going to lie, I can't tell you about her bear shifting. What do you think? Yeah, I, I, you know, I, I, I'll tell you what, I'm so hypocritical. When he was at Albion, right, he was good and bad. And then when he left, I thought, you know, good riddance. I saw him in a, in a car show. Like, you know, he's got some, but no, we've, he's had the chance. He hasn't shone. I'm not disagreeing with you. Connor Carlos. Oh, you're his biggest, biggest, biggest critic, aren't you, Dad? Yeah, I am. I, you know, Summer, Dan. He's done I mean, again, again, Dad, it puts that goal now on the screen. Norwich. That one was a cracker, weren't it? Yeah, it was, yeah. Pulls out, out of nowhere. But in my opinion, am I, I think you've got to say he's between them two. He, I think he's just in there for me. He, he's a quality player on his day. But, but also I, I does would, the job. 
Okay, well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt on that because I, just I think if there's, a, if, there's, if, there's, if there's one between does the job and a bit more, he'd go there. I don't think he's boomed from something at all because he's got another level to go, which you saw in the Premier League. Yeah. But he, he, he's a quarter to power on his day and when, he, and when he's playing really good, he's definitely the best left back in the Championship, my opinion. I, yeah, I think... I, oh, I don't know about that. I think, Dan, I think... Carlos has brought the best out of him because you can see he's changed. He's more confident. So, yeah, I, I was his biggest critic. I am his biggest critic because you know what? He's proved me wrong and I think he, he can go up another level. So, next one, Dad, this will be an interesting one for you. Dan Roche. Well, I'll tell you something. But, well, you know my feelings. I, I, he's got to be in boom time, but I just think he, he thinks he's better than he is. But the, yeah. I know I'm going to get a lot of slates in for that. But we have. I'll go for you guys. If, you, if you're still watching, right? Yes or no? Would you sell him if someone came in from that? I would, yeah. How much would you cash in? 10 million plus. Oh, I said if you gave us plus 6 million, 7 million. Yeah, go on. Yeah, I would, yeah. Go on now, Furlong, Dad. This one's an interesting one because I think he does the job. Again, this season, we won't see, as we just saw the new rule on screen now, there's no more towels in the game, Dad, so you can't do the long throw ins with proper, you know, the normal Albion way. So that's going to lose from his game, really, which we you like know, from him. I, I feel awkward again because I've seen the good and bad. I think one thing that would do him the world of good is fighting for his position. So if you had another person in that position, you know, it will bring out the best of him. I just think that at times he dips, his confidence goes, and he's just thrown into the mix game upon game. I'd love to see him being challenged a bit more. Dad, I'm going to put a big bomb, a bombshell in here. DK, got to go. What are you thinking? I think he's hovering between not good enough and past yeah. self all day. I think that there's no doubt about it. He's been terribly unlucky with injuries. But my goodness, there's no excuse for sometimes. He doesn't offer anything. All right, he's yeah, a target man agree, yeah. and he gets the goals, but he doesn't track back. He, he can't seem to run that well for me. I mean, if you right. compare his desire and attitude and all round game management against DeSantis, Exactly. The... I remember we've been at many away games, haven't we? And a lot of people have said this. For a big lad, he gets shot with the ball quite a lot of the time, doesn't he? It just infuriates me when you see him and you think, hang on, it's for a big lad, you do get knocked off the ball. I think that he was deemed as the Albion saviour when we bought him. I mean, the, the, let's, let's be honest, six million. If he was brilliant, it would have, it would have been a lot more than that. But you know exactly. what? Brilliant experience will learn. If someone offered you five million as well, Dad. I'll take it every come. day. Yeah. I'll take it every day. Though. Next one, Dad. This one, the fans aren't going to be happy with. So, where would you put him? I don't think he's good enough, Dan. It's, it's a oh, shame. I think that's fair enough. Yeah, it's a shame. I think, I think, I think, I think you say a lot of the time, Dan, it is a confidence issue at the time. But I feel like when when Bruce was there, he weren't playing that well. Maybe sometimes with Carlos as well. And I think the best thing to do, which was rightfully happening in the end, was to drop him completely. Yeah, I don't think we've done him any favours by continually putting him in the firing line. I think that it's like the the, the, the the two positions I always think where you're exposed is up front and certainly a goalkeeper. You can't hide your mistakes. And that and it, and I wouldn't mind if it was one or two. He hasn't become a, a bad keeper overnight. But I think the one at the Blues, I don't think he, he got over that. I can no, never, I ever that. forget that. And, it, and it's a shame. But bearing in mind though, Danny, he's never come out and said he's a number one. He's always been a number two. So yeah. it's a shame. I think at this level, it's not it's not for, for David, unfortunately. No. This was an interesting one. Eric Peters. Uh, yeah, Summit Dan. I'm going to put Go. him in. I'm, I, uh, I, I personally think, guys, what do you think? I think he is between does the job and not good enough because, yes, he does the job. But if you want to go to the next level, I'm asking, you've got to look at something a bit better. Maybe younger like Caleb Taylor who's in there. But again, it's, it's depth for that at the end of the day. I feel as if I wanted to challenge you because once upon a time, yeah, I, 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 in fact, I already said not good enough. But I think he does a lot of work that goes under the radar. I do agree. Um, but next one, Dad, Ethan Ingram, the guy who won uh, the winning penalty against Wolves. Put on screen now. Ethan to win it. Come on. Showtime, baby. It's showtime. Yeah. Come on, you bad man! Um, Dad, in my opinion, I don't think he's ready just yet. So I'd send him out on low. But he could do the job. So where would you put him? I don't think he's good enough just yet. 
No, yeah. I think he's alone what, to develop. That's yeah, what Pelotti needs. There's a lot more experience that needs to be gained. I think he's got it, but I think that he needs to grow in experience and confidence and game management. Next one, Dad. Dean Garner. Oh, Dan. I was dreading this. I was dreading this. Absolutely dreading this. Oh, it, all right, he does his job. Again, I get frustrated, Dan, because I know that he's, he's capable of a lot more. He, yeah, unlocks yeah, he, he is capable, isn't he? But again, injuries have hampered his career. He hasn't looked the, the same player since Slav left. And in my opinion, again, he's a confidence player. On his day, he's easy boom time, maybe more than that. But I haven't seen nothing, have you? He's a game changer, Dan. He's an absolute game changer. When he he can he can control the game on his own. When he when he's up for it, I don't know what it is, but I do like him. I do like yeah. him. Yeah. Next one. Oh, big, big Jace. Jace. He's got to be there, isn't he? Yeah. I'm putting him straight yeah. there. What a season he's had. Yeah, you know something? He's come on leaps and bounds for me under King Carlos. I think that beforehand, he always was a bit mediocre, I thought, but now, my word, he's come to the front. He's led by example. He clearly loves the team. The teammates love him. He galvanised everybody. He puts, you can see. He's got passion, hasn't he? That's what the main thing of Diamond is game. Absolutely, Dan. You can see he plays for the badge if there's such a thing. And he gets annoyed when things don't work out. That tells me that he cares. A lot more to come from him here. Yeah, great lad, great lad. Dad, I know you're one of your favourites is here. Jed Wallace? I undoubtedly, I think he's in boom time. I think that I think that he run his socks off. In fact, I think he run himself into the ground and we didn't see the best of him in the closing stages of the season. You know, I was about to say exactly that. He didn't look himself towards the end of the season where he was the star. He many balls in the box against goals himself. But still, Dad, even though he wasn't playing that well, he's still one of our best players. Yeah, I think, you know what, he was Mr. Albin. He carried the Albin in the, in the first half of the season. Everything that happened surrounded Jed Wallace. He was the heartbeat. And he runs and he runs and he runs. After right, him. Dan, next one then. This one is going to be interesting for you. John Swift. I'm going to make... A, 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 a... I'm put, I'll, I'll back myself first and make sure viewers put down the comments what you think. I think John Swift is a quality player. Wally's got the skills and ability and hasn't shown as much this season. Again, I'm going back to good old Val. What he says, the stats are there, show that he has got it and he does get the assist and he creates a chance. I think it's one of the most chances a game in the league so far, well, last season. So he's got it in the locker, Dad. And I think next season, if Carlos can make play him a bit better, a bit more, a bit more freedom, we'll see a lot more from John Swift. And I'll tell you what, you're right with the stats that uh, w w whenever we won, he produced the most opportunities. I just get frustrated, Dan, because he, he, again, he's got a lot more in the locker. When I win locker, I would love to, love to see him play with more confidence, a bit, a bit more yeah. relaxed. Just go yeah, guys, make sure you look at what you think, because I think you're spot on there, Dad. Take some risks, because he can on. He's, I'd say he's the most skillful player at the club. Oh, definitely, 100%. Maybe up there with Dean Garner. Josh Griffiths. I think Josh Griffiths does the job. I don't think he's there just yet. Mind you, he puts great performances in, but I think the occasional that the Blackburn goal he got then the I think it was Watford in the greatest games. There's games like that where again you show his inability and he's not just sort of the level of championship Premier League yet, but he could be there because he's a great player. Yeah, very well said there. I don't think there's much he needs to do to get into the, the quality player section in as much as bear in mind, Dan, all the pressure was on him. He could have buckled. And yeah, exactly. I, I, and it, I was apparently he was going around Newcastle interested. Well, he's going to be called up for England in the 21, so he must be doing something yeah. wrong. One of your favourites, you like the look of Malcolm. I'd put him in quality player. I think he's. Would awesome. you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would think... disagree. I think he would do the job. I don't think he's going to just yet. But we saw Sparks with Chesterfield, for example, when they played at home, they scored out the hole, and he came with Bristol away in the FA Cup. He's got something about him that we. Well, Carlos clearly likes people come on the bench and in round the first team. So I think he'll do the job next season. It could be a really good play, especially for the depth side of things, if there's any injuries. Yeah, what I like about him from what I've seen, and we've seen a lot of him, he does run, he gives his all, he's not afraid to shoot. Yeah, again, I think you're right. I think you probably calm me down in as much as he's got some untapped talent. There's still more to come, and I think Carlos can yeah. coach that, that into him. So, yeah, I right, agree. Dad, I'm going to sit back. I'm going to let you talk. Carl Grant. I don't think he's good enough. I'd like to see him move on. So fast by Sabo, do Yeah, it's such a shame because he's been the leading Albion's goal scorer, but he doesn't endear himself to me, Dan. He doesn't seem to... Towards the, 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 the latter part of the campaign, he'd come out of his shell a bit more, but I don't think he tracks back. I don't think he's got a football in the brain, to be honest. He did seem to try, but like, what it seemed to be like, he tried, 
We didn't get the, the goals or the assists. But we didn't try. We got the goals and assists. That makes sense, does it? Yeah, I, I don't know whether it's me because he's not an out and out striker. Is he? He's a winger, really, isn't he? Yeah. I mean, he's not an out and out striker, but I just think for me, I think he was overpriced. He's overpaid. And I don't think his heart's at the club. I don't know. Had Keen Bryan's been released, we found out. What do you think on him? Think he gets to be released? Yes, I do, yeah. I, th I think uh, he's had his time down at the, been at the club a while, hasn't he? So uh, sad to see him go, but you know, we can't, we can't, you can't keep everybody. Well, still, like, what was about? We only saw one game, didn't we? And then he got injured from that one. Yeah, well, I, I remember reading about the reports uh, uh, when he was playing for the youngsters, so it's a shame. Next one, that Martin Kelly. I don't know. You know, some of them. I think he's got to go. I, I, don't, I don't disagree, but I don't agree either because I feel like we need that depth. Yes, 100% we need that depth. I, I don't think he's good enough, but they got to think about that. Say if he were to sell Kid Prey on, who we got left? We only got the youngsters left. You might see yeah. some, maybe a bit of experience there. But again, <laughs> Carlos didn't want him because he went to Wigan. So yeah, it'd be interesting to happen to him with Kelly. Yeah, he did do the job, didn't he? Dad, big box. It does the job for me, Dan. It's, you know, I, I, it just goes to show how two-faced I am. At one stage, I, I was hoping they'd get rid of him because he was horrendous. But it's made a difference. He can score the goals. He, he's, he's a good defender when he concentrates. And I think that he, he could coach the, uh, the, the youngsters a bit more. So, yeah, I, I like, there's something about him a lot. However, he has got a mistake in him. Mind you, haven't, haven't they all? Um, step over is Matty Phillips, oh. in my opinion. Under Carlos, he's got a strength quality player on his day. That I don't think I've seen a better Matty Phillips for ages. Have you fans? What do you think? But Matt Phillips, he's been brilliant to Carlos, especially on the games against Luton. I thought, what is Matt Phillips? Dan, isn't it, isn't it crazy, right? That how, how, how long he's been at the club, and we've only really seen the real Matt Phillips the season just gone. And boy, did we miss him. He was whatever Carlos has done, keep on doing it because I tell you, summer. He was he was phenomenal. Different yeah. player, Dan. No foul. Not good enough just yet. Yeah, I, I, I'm. Ha I'll be happy with that. From what I've seen of him, yeah. Because I feel like Mo Fowl, he's got something to play, but I just I feel like maybe alone would be good for him. And a really good season fly many leagues down below. And I just don't disagree with Carlos bringing him back because he's playing really well. With it. But again, there's some talent there, isn't there? Dan? Yeah, there is. Yeah, he's got it in his locker. Right, this one was their opinion. Go on, then, Nate. I don't think he's good enough, Dan. I, I think the thing that worries me, I, I'm, 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 I'm fingers crossed, and I, I'm just, it's a dreadful thing to say. I just think his confidence is not there. Whatever he tries, it didn't come off. And sometimes, you know, you know what? You made an interesting comment the other week about. You said about um, Romain Sawyer's and the fact that when they play, they don't look like they care, and he doesn't look either. Sometimes they care when he plays the ball off and he blames someone else, like a bit like Carl Bartley does, for example. And for me, he's got to be the talent, but I think he's just lacking a bit more. Composed sometimes, maybe, and, and, and as you say, confidence is what he needs badly in his game. Just a quick one, Dad. He's not on this list, but Marco Brighton. Oh, oh, that, oh, you know, Summer, I'm so disappointed. I felt sorry for him because, you know, Summer, he wasn't the Marco Brighton I know or I've seen. No. Obviously, I'm pretty sure the the end. he's about big up this man here. Um, up on the screen now, A, they put this, he didn't think he was good enough. When we brought him in, we spoke to the transfer deadline day um, video. And he was spot on with his comments. He was, he's past it, really, isn't it? Yeah, it's such a shame. He had a lot more to offer, Dan. A lot more to offer. Yock. Boom time. However, however, he Go had on. Of games Fair when opinion. he lost at it. I, I think it must have been his fitness, but when he's on his game, I think he's the best midfielder in the in the division on his day. And I'll go, I'll go and fit back up there, Dad. Does this say a lot the fact that we were playing it when he, when he wasn't fit at all, just because of how, how good he is? And he's probably playing better than Ch an unfit Yoff is probably better than a fit Chalaba. Right, Dad, Castro has been released. But what are your thoughts on that one? I think he's not good enough, Dan. I, I really, I, yeah. I, know something. I, I know he scored a, a hat full of goals, but I just don't think he can make the step up into the first team. He looked a bit lazy to me when I saw him. Yeah, play. no, a, a lot of people said they were really shocked by him being released from the Albion. But in my opinion, he always wants to use Albion as a step up for going to another one. And again, he looked, you show his youthful side against I think it was um oh not last season season before that against Swansea where he put a two footer and we didn't need to and that led to a goal and that from there led to him going on loans to Burton didn't work out Notts County weren't the greatest um the thing on the gate said as well 
and it never really seemed to work. So I'm not really surprised we released him. Um, good yeah. to talk to Dad. Do you want to see him involved next season? I would love to see him involved. Yeah, I think I think you know the youngsters have got to. Some I class. would stay between there. I don't think he's good enough yet. But the no, step he needs more. Bear in mind that the, the, the step the step up is always difficult, isn't it? A bit bigger um, crowd. There's more expectations, the nerves. But I just feel that he needs a bit more experience. Dan, we've got Rise Cleary. I personally think he's not good enough yet. There's a reason we we've said this many times. There's a reason why. It, not many teams came in for him when he was free, when he was pretty much didn't sign any contract with the Albion. They had to pretty much set off Don want the Albion just to come playing football. And while people say there's a lot of hope, hope with him scoring goals, I feel like again it's an attitude problem. Yeah, I think I hate to say this. I don't I don't like to speak bad of people. I just think that he thinks he's better than he is. I yeah. think that the fact And again, that Dad, against Sheffield United, he looks a bit overweight. Dad, big semi. He's hovering between quality player and boom time on his days, eh? We'll put him in boom time, but I think Semi is probably one of the best footballers of the club on his day, especially the start of the season, Middlesbrough, where I thought, woohoo, Semi's cooking here. As yeah, I said, we've got Semi on. But literally, I, I personally think on, on his day, he's one of the best uh, defenders in the championship. But again, he's got an injury that caused problems with him. But he's a solid, solid player for the championship, which is why I'm coming quality. And, he's, and he's, in my opinion, he's got another level to go, Dad. We yeah, I agree. Good. I think he wasn't the same after he come back from his injury because he can play the game extremely well. He's very, he's very self-assured. He's a good footballer. I mean, the goal he scored against Swansea was just reaction goal. Yeah, right? God, it's going now. Yeah, that, that was a cracker, oh, right, Dad. Unbelievable, Dan. That's, that's whenever you mentioned Semi, I think of that goal. But no, he's good. He's got it in the locker, and on his day, you're quite right. He's he's good. He's he's unplayable. Dad, Taylor Garner Hitman. Alpha, your favourite. Got me thinking. He does the job. I think that there are times when he, his decision making isn't the world's best. However, oh, you know he brings that because we had a bad season two seasons ago. He brought energy, which is what I like about him. And passion. Exactly, and that's what we need. Um, I don't think he's the greatest, technically-wise, but he's got something about him. He cares. Reminds, it brings a depth, doesn't it? Yeah, he cares, and don't forget, he scored that crackerjacker at Reading, didn't he? Here we got, we got Zach Ashworth, Dad. He had a really good start with um, Burton. Where are you putting him? He'd be hovering between does the job and not good enough. He's got a lot more. I think to come. I, I think there's more to come from I for me to include him next season. So I think he's got something about him. And yeah. he could be really good back for Connor Townsend. So who knows? He, I want to see him in pre season included, really. Last two players, Dad, you got Tom Rogers. Quick same one Tom. We love Tom. And he wasn't good enough, was he really? We everyone thought he could be do something here. We got the goal against Sunderland We're on screen now. Oh, I'm crossing! Things like that. We didn't see that enough, did we, Dan? No, and don't forget, Dan, he, he got released for a particular reason, didn't he? Yeah. Let's, let's, we owe him a, a, a debt of gratitude. He'd done the job. He, he, he kept us in it, but you know what? Yeah. Right, and the last one, he's not on the screen, as you can tell, Dan, but I'm going to let you give a little segment to him. Oh, Jakey yes. boy. Uh, I, I know that this is going to divide opinion. Listen, I think that he probably stopped at the club probably a season too long, if, if I'm going to be honest, but I think that his influence behind the scenes in the dressing room was outstanding. I think he was a leader of men and leader of players. He was an all-round good guy, good communicator. He cared about the club. He cared about his teammates. He brought everybody together, the voice of reason, totally committed. And I got an awful lot of time for Jay. And don't forget, he was the last Albion player to fully represent England at the senior exactly. level. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I love Jay. I thought he was a really good player. Gave us all for the shirt every, every time he played. And I yeah, think I, really, um, many people discredited for what he did do for the club because he was here for a, very, a real good servant to the club. And while he won the greatest overall as a player, I feel like it is all every single game. Yeah, it's a shame because towards that part of his career, obviously his legs had gone and he would get, he got sent off of doing some rash tackles. But I'll tell you what, in his day, he was first to tackle. He, players were actually scared of him. But no, I'll be interested to see what he does. Good lad. Always yeah. got the time for Jake. So guys, make sure you... Put down the comments. Would you, do you agree with this? Do any more changes you make? Or are you happy with it? 
No, I'm, I'm happy with it. All I will say is, is that, you know what, after these, we don't know what's going on behind the scenes. All we can do is we pay our money, we make a decision. They, they're there to prove us wrong. We love the Albion, I know thousands of others do. But you know what? Now that we're talking about it, I can't wait for the season to start. Me either, Dad. Three seasons coming soon, games as well. I can't wait for those. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video once again. Dan, anything else to say for the viewers? Yeah, if you, again, we always welcome your comments. Thank you for your, for your likes, your subscribes, your comments. Thank you for coming up and saying hello. Because without you, we're nothing. So all that's left for me today is, and you, Dan, it's showtime. showtime.